Hey y'all, let's check out the Waterfall Cafe. Hey y'all, welcome to day eight of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we are at the Waterfall Cafe. This is a beautiful underwater themed Sam. It's not TP friendly, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and do an outfit check and we can continue. So today I wanted to wear an outfit that was gonna be lighter because I am in environmental settings and it is quite dark in here. So this is what I came up with. I have some really cute green earrings or green accented earrings um, and I also have gold accessories as well so I got my bag you guys have seen this bag I have my rings and my bling blau watch so we'll go ahead and do a little shoe cam I believe we've seen these uh, you guys have seen these heels before love a good red bottom so let's go back up so you guys can see the full outfit let's continue so this space is in the air um, I panned out because I wanted to see how large the space was just to make sure that it was going to be a space large enough for me to be able to tour with you guys and it's in the air so the size of this um, space is a pretty nice size space. So I'm really interested in what they have here to show us. I like that everything has a very nice underwater feel to it, although it's in the sky. What's up here? Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is very pretty. Okay. I like this. All right it's lots of water perhaps not the best shoes oh excuse me sir for this but you know we're in second life so we're okay so they have a teleporter i want to see what's in these other spaces before we take the teleporter it's very romantic here it has such a nice um feel to it i feel like this space would be perfect for couples okay what is this this looks spooky yes very spooky looking i love the environment settings that they have for this space it's really nice and has a very romantic like luxurious type feel to it very secluded just a nice sexy vibe they got going on which i feel like is going to be very very good for like an intimate setting this is pretty so everything has the feel of being underwater um, with the fishies and things like that. And I really do like that. Lots of spaces just kind of feel like if you're like deep sea diving, I would imagine. That's kind of like the vibe of this space, but it's very pretty. I love all the fishes and the, the fish and the accents and things like that. I like that they have little sea creatures like in the midst of all the beauty. It's like you'll see something that might not be deemed as, as beautiful, but it does fit the space. So I do like that. I haven't seen many um, underwater spaces in Second Life yet. So I really like when I come across them um, just to be able to explore something just different to see they have cute little cute little sitting area so this is cute okay i feel like even um when recording the lighting is not bad i thought at first that the lighting was going to be too dark but when i tried to change the lighting um to different settings it just it took away from the beauty of the space so i decided to just leave it in the environmental settings because i didn't want to is this this is like an angry shark i didn't want to take away from the beauty of the space the lighting is perfect for this space. It really helps bring out all of the different features um, on this land, especially when it comes to um, different things like the fish and just like the coral reefs and things like that. I feel like without the lighting, it wouldn't have as much beauty to it, in my opinion. 
I love all the fish, all of the beautiful colors and things like that. I really like that, the jellyfish. I just feel like I'm not able to see everything, everything. So I keep trying to like pan the camera up so you guys can see everything with me. I like that they are, it does seem like they're doing a lot of building up as well there, there are quite a few um elevations that they have and i do like that it just makes the space seem larger and then they also incorporated things like arches and things like that and arches make the space look more um we'll go up those stairs in a second i want to see what's over here arches make the space look larger than what it is very nice so it's like you can come and chill in here this looks like a this is a dance floor because i saw like the dance ball this is like the universal symbol in second life for dances so if you ever see things like that floating in the air when you're in second life it's a very high chance that it's a dance ball and you could just click it and then get the dances this little music note as well the rainbow colors kind of gives you a big clue of what it is so yeah this is a little club and they have the little bar with the drinks and things like that very cute I just I love the way that they worked out the decorations in this space as well as the landscaping it's a lot going on it's a lot going on for this to be something that is um, not on the ground. They have a lot going on. This is very nice. They have a little grotto. You could come chill over there and a little floaty. The majority of the time when they do these lands, the lands are not here. They're not permanent lands. They're just here for a little bit of time. It costs to keep the land you know to even have a land to build on so I think that plays a part as well as to why a lot of times they don't keep oh this is wonderful you get a nice overview of everything this is another reason why I think they don't keep the lands for very long is because it gets kind of pricey so they don't have many seating spaces but they do have seating spaces it's just not ample this definitely is going to be more of a walk around land and not so much a like sit and chill type of land they like i said they do have seating for that but this space definitely gives me more of an observatory type vibe than a sit and chill type vibe I love how some of the setups are very much so like an aquarium with all of the like the observations that you can make from behind the glass like things like this i really like that it definitely gives an aquarium vibe so these all seem like little individual observatories and little things like that super cute and then this is a beautiful dining option where you could come here and you can eat by yourself or with someone else. You can also bring more than one person because they have multiple little sitting spaces over here. So maybe like a nice double day where you guys can be together but still have space to have your own um, intimate conversations. I think that's very nice. And then the views in this space are very beautiful lots of color still and then you have the presence of the water and the sounds as well i like that they have a lot of different um twists and turns ah so this is how you get in here i was wondering and this he looks very creepy is that a merman this is what i imagine mermaids to look like to be completely honest I don't think that they are that ethereal looking like you can tell it's definitely half human I think this is what they look like in my mind when I think about them this is what this is what they look like to me as creepy as that is I just feel like this is what they look like I don't think that they are 
very they would be very pleasant to see I like that you have a nice observatory um, from this space as well. Don't mind the sharks, okay? Just don't mind them, they can't get you. But it's very beautiful to be able to look at everything outside, all the colors in the backdrop and the fishies hanging around and things like that. I think that's super cute. Very, very nice to look at. I really like how they have water like everywhere. Oh, this is beautiful. Is this like another bar or is this the cafe? Is this the cafe we've been waiting to get to? Perhaps. Hello. I don't know what dinosaur this is, but definitely a dinosaur. It's very pretty in here. Green is my favorite color. So I really, really like that. Is that thing hissing? It's doing something. It's super pretty in here. So I wanna see where this teleporter takes us. Cause I feel like I'm way too far to go back to the first one I saw. Ooh. So I took the teleport to one of their destinations. You guys are gonna have to figure where I am out on your own when you guys come and visit this space look how beautiful this is and then you can come and just chill have you a little quick bite to eat and the views you're not gonna get better views than this you're just simply not like was that a bacon cheeseburger you're not gonna get better views than this look at how pretty this is this reminds me of the underwater world in my um beach fun video that i just did beautiful oh so beautiful i don't know where this is this definitely is not some place that you could walk to because i didn't see this place at all i love the bubbles i took the tp to somewhere else oh nice so this is like a little movie theater how cute is this you definitely could bring like a nice group of people and you guys could come here and just enjoy yourselves watch a quick flick be around the bubbles and the fishies and the anemones just beautiful i love it love it love it i love the colors in here you guys definitely want to be in um, the shared environment because it's absolutely perfect for this land. So you guys, there's still so much to see and do at the Waterfall Cafe, but I'll leave the remainder of the exploring up to you all. So the landmark to this place will be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.